Having been in the YMCA as a professional for 15 years now, one of the things that I've, I've really enjoyed seeing is children grow up in the YMCA, families evolve through the YMCA. It's been very special to see families come to our area and make their family friends through YMCA, whether it be their kids meeting someone in a program and then the families becoming friends or parents meeting themselves through a YMCA activity. It's extremely special to see how YMCA can develop relationships. At the same time, you get to see the opportunity of, of kids grow up through YMCA programs. And now we're getting to the point where you're starting to see their children come into YMCA programs. And that's, that's been a lot of fun. Uh, for myself and our camp staff to start to see. A lot of times our, our campers are invited to come back to be counselors for us, so it kind of keeps that, that tradition going year after year. We have multiple generation families that come to camp. I remember I, I'm getting to the point where I've seen a number of my own uh, colleagues or, or other co-counselors that I worked with back in the 90s. They're bringing their own children to camp and it's, it's really touching, it's really neat, it, it's really inspiring to see that the kids can't wait to come to camp and they enjoy it just as much as their mom and dad did when they were little. It was great to watch our children go through and their cousins go through the Camp Foster experience and how much they loved it and how much they, like we said, instilled that love of the lakes, which is so important to our family as well. We're, we're fortunate enough to have a place that we still can go. That was my grandfather started. And, um, you know, we hope to have that in the family for future generations as well. I have a, a lot of people in my life that I've become very close with, I went to camp with, or like I met at camp. I wouldn't have this like idea of who my best self is. I feel like it's very easy to be your best self at Camp Foster, and I try to be that in the real world, but I wouldn't have that. At the same time, uh, something that's been special is just even on the aquatic side of things, we've seen kids go through swim lessons at the very earliest ages to go into swim team to eventually become lifeguards for us and then go off to college and come back and work for us. So I started out at the Y with doing mommy and me swim lessons with my mom. From there I went on to do swim lessons and then joined the swim team. I now am a lifeguard, swim instructor, and help coach that swim team. If there wasn't a YMCA in our area, I would definitely not be as active and I wouldn't have a job today. If there wasn't a why, I would probably be staying at home more, watching a ton of TV and just not getting out of the house much. I like the YMCA because you get to go do um, swimming lessons, school, go school goals and soccer and um, do basketball. I would tell anyone to enroll their kids at Camp Foster because your kids are gonna have so much fun. Um, my kids look forward to it every year. As soon as school gets out, they always ask, what, what week do we get to go to Camp Foster? Horseback riding and arts and crafts, going to meals, spending time making friends, all of those values of respect, responsibility, honesty, caring, and each day we, we practice those in everything we do. It's a big part of who we are and it's a big part of our success. I like Camp Foster because I like horseback riding and my favorite horse is Blaze. What I like about Camp Foster is that I like um, shooting the bow and arrow and doing the little gun shot, whatever that's called, and yeah. I grew up in a community where we didn't have a YMCA, and so when we moved to Spirit Lake, it was really amazing to me that this community has a tremendous asset that was something that I'd never been a part of and, and now that we've, we're here and we're members, we've noticed just how much of a difference that really makes for the youth of the committee, but all ages and demographics that most areas just don't have the opportunity to have that without a YMCA.